All right. Can we guess what the chip of the day is going to be? Um, this is like one of those tests that you have to take. This thing, this thing, this thing, what's the next in this series, okay? Like, like you multiply, oh, it's a square. This is, this is that square, this is that squared, and then what's this one here, right? So we kind of have a trend going here. It's small, bigger, bigger. Or maybe it's the number of pins. We have eight pin, 16 pin, 32 pin, eight, 16, 32. Maybe, maybe that's the sequence. So if you want to pause the video now to try to guess what the next, uh, next one is in the, uh, in the sequence here. All right, there, <laughs> it's just size. <laughs> have you ever seen such a monster I see? It's, it's like this giant cockroach. It's, <laughs> it's, it's really well. And guess what? It's surface mount. It's, it's got gull wings on it. <laughs> I love this thing. It's hilarious. It's this just super big giant thing. Um, it's uh, 48 millimeters by 25 millimeters. <laughs> it's, just giant. How many pins is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's an 18, an 18 pin I see, but look at the size of this thing. All right. It's not exactly a, it's not exactly a chip. It's not exactly an IC. It's a DC to DC converter. <laughs> okay. So the chip of the day is a uh, PKF 4000 series. This one happens to be a 40, 4622. This is a 4622. So it's a DC to DC converter all in a package and this company decided to go ahead and just make it into a, a big IC. <laughs> they actually have a through hole version but this is the gull, the gull wing version of course if it was gone to surface mount. So yeah gull wing. 83% efficiency. Yeah that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Anyway yeah there you go. Um, Let's go ahead and oops. Let's go ahead and wire this thing up so we can play with it. Uh, I need to attach to these gull wings. I think I'll put it down onto a board. I'll put it down onto a board somehow and uh, make contact to it. All right. Oops. Let the back out a little bit here. Sorry. So this is the data sheet for the uh, forty-six twenty-two. This is the five volt part. So the output is five volts. Uh, 5.05 typical, 5.02 minimum, 5.08 maximum. Pretty, pretty uh, accurate. Uh, the VN is specified as 38 to 72 volts input, and pin eight connected to pin nine unless otherwise specified. Interesting. Um, and output is 0.6 amps. Looks like 0.6 amps. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, let's get this thing onto a board and, uh, wire it up. All right, there we go. I've got it uh, soldered down. I forgot to tell the backstory of this, uh, IC. Um, it was actually, uh, sent into the channel by a viewer, um, but not as a donation, as a swap. <laughs> I had a part from an old HP instrument that he needed to use to repair his instrument. And I traded him for some stuff. So he get, sent me a, a, a care package of a bunch of things. And this is one of the things he sent, which I just adore. <laughs> I just think this thing's great. Anyway, yeah. Um, this is a macro dens. Macro dens, it's trademarked from Ericsson. Ericsson is the manufacturer of this thing. Um, and the nice thing about it is it's on um, point... Point two centers, so uh, there's five per inch, five, five leads per inch. <laughs> anyway, so because this is a hundred uh, centered uh, breadboard, I could just put every two one one pin goes for every two uh, uh, connections on the on the PC board, so matched out perfectly. So yeah, let me add some wires where the goes ins is and the goes outs is. Um, it is plus and minus five volts. It's not just one output. It's actually two outputs. It, 38, it's, I'm reading from the chip here. It's 38 to 72 volts 
input, but plus and minus 5 volts output at 6 watts. Uh, yeah, so plus and minus 5. Hmm, plus and minus 5. I guess you can r run quite a few uh, op amps off of plus and minus 5. Doesn't give you a whole lot of headroom, but yeah, you can do uh, do things. Uh, other, other things that use plus and minus 5? Uh, RS-232? I don't know. <laughs> Not sure when you use plus and minus 5 these days. All right, so I have it hooked up. It's very simple. I have a uh, voltage uh, going in, uh, which I have 50, 50 volts going in. Um, and the output is plus and minus uh, with the ground in the center. So there's three pins. So really, there's nothing to go on. Nothing. You actually have to wire up here. You have to jumpers pin nine and eight together, but that's it. So a lot of pins on this device, but very few are used. Um, so we can take a look at the uh, voltage here. And I was very disappointed that the voltage was reading high. It was 5.5 .5, uh, volts. I figured it would have been regulated, but it's a bit unregulated. So uh, the data sheet gives 5 volts, but it's loaded at um, maximum current capability. It doesn't say anything about low ca current capability. So it makes it look like it's a very accurate part, but it really isn't. Um, and so anyway, we have 5.5. .5. If we start to load it down, I'm going to load it down with uh, 50, 50 ohms, which would be 100 milliamps of current draw. And you can see it drops down to uh, 5.1 .1 volts with a 50 ohm load on it. So that is, that is disappointing. I'm going to put a 20 ohm load on it, um, which would be uh, closer to its 5 volt. I think I needed 10... Yeah, I needed about 8 ohms for it to be fully loaded up. And I just grabbed a 20 here, but you can see that it's uh, it's uh, definitely within spec now. So it's definitely a, a part that expects to be loaded down. It doesn't expect to not have a load on it. Uh, otherwise, it floats up to this 5.5 uh, volts, which is still within the spec of most circuits and stuff. But just be aware that these these this this particular DC to DC converter is not well regulated at uh, at no loads on it. If we can take a look at the minus side. It does the same thing. So it's a plus or minus 5, so we get minus 5.5. .5. And if I load it down with 50 ohms, and then if I load it down with 20 ohms, yeah, it does the same thing. Anyway, I don't know if they're made anymore, but this is a uh, Ericsson uh, PKF module, a 4000 series PKF. And this is the 4622. There you go.